Hey guys, it's your mom from Honolulu Pulse's Social Encore. So I just came home after a really great lunch with my friend Tyler and his friend Marianne. Both of them have been to Brazil. And so I do little things like this in preparation of when I travel internationally. And so this is how our conversation sounded like. And it's very similar with Hawaii actually. And actually that's the feeling that I had in the first week that I was in Hawaii. That people just treat you as family, not even friends, like, but like, what do you need? You know, come here, you wanna eat this, you wanna go hang out? Like, it's just a warm feeling of Brazil. And you will find, like, in the whole country, like, from north to south, you know, it's different culture, different food, different way of talking Portuguese, but you will find this, uh, just this passion for people for relationship for talking just to be at the moment anywhere i think in the country and that's the most amazing thing yeah and so i mean yeah i totally agree there's just the warmth and how generous the people were on my i think third day in brazil i was just getting started in you know researching and i went to this um, i went to this museum and started talking with the staff and i mentioned i'm from hawaii and i want to study um, immigration to Brazil and they said well you know what come back tomorrow and we can talk then and I come back the next day and there's this giant stack of books just brand new books um, that they had I don't know if they went to the store to buy or had it you know behind the desk or something but it was ready and they gave it to me and they said here's you know background reading and um, it, it was amazing yeah Oh, that was everyone that go to Rio de Janeiro because Rio de Janeiro is like, oh, here, you know, everyone yeah. wants to go to Brazil, wants to go to Rio. And it is unbelievable how beautiful it is. Like, the nature in Rio de Janeiro is like, really? How did God put everything together here? Like, these mountains and the beach, and the, they have Rodrigo Epitetas, like this lake, freshwater lake. It's just everything is unbelievable there. And the gardens, and, and it's like gardens, going to like this yeah. rainforest garden. There are monkeys in the trees and parrots flying around. It is pretty it's amazing. amazing. But it gets like, that's what everybody knows, right? But there's other like unbelievable that you never even imagine places. One place that I always tell people to go called Pantanal. So I call the mini Africa of Brazil. So part of the year is dry and part of the year is all wet. So of course you should go, no of course, but it's easier to get around if you go in the dry time of the year. And it's just like the diverse of birds and like fauna and flora and the issues unbelievable. And they have this kind of river and lakes, like fresh, like blue, flesh, crystal water. And the, like the flora is so different from rainforest or it's just this place, it's one place that I feel it's very, very unique from Brazil. There's nowhere like that. Even the food and but there's so many there's places that I never been that I would love to go and maybe if I go I'll be like oh you should go there, you know. But it's a lot of places to go. Like I think you almost have to be like do you like beach or do you like country or you like cold, do you like hot? Because yeah. I mean, Brazil is like the same size as the lower 48, so it's like, just like on the mainland, there's every kind of, you know, climate and yeah. type of place and culture, so same thing with Brazil, so you gotta find all the, the cool places. Yeah, what you like more, like yeah. what you want to see there. Yeah. But Rio is definitely one, I mean, if you don't go to Rio, yeah, when you go to Brazil, it's like going to France without going to Paris, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's like the place. I think all the obviously all the basic travel precautions, you know, don't wear giant gold jewelry, you know, don't plot a whole bunch of money. Um, I think one challenge is that unlike Europe, where you know if you go to Spain or France or Germany, like tons of people can speak English, you know, anywhere you go. I, th I think it's a little bit harder in Brazil because not everyone does. Um, since it's such a huge country, um, so that's that might be a challenge. So, one thing is that um, Brazil is really diverse in terms of the people. Not only, um, you know, just like in the U.S., people came from all over the world. Um, 
like I talked about before, Japanese, but also you know people from Portugal and Spain and Germany, um, which is why you have the supermodels you know from Brazil who are blonde and blue eyed, and you have people from um, the Arab world, Syrians and Lebanese. Um, you know what other groups are there? Russians. I mean, all, all, all over, yeah. from all over. So you should. Oh, the food, the fruits and vegetables. Oh, no. It's just the, all the places I've been, like in different countries, to so know where it's like this: the papaya, the banana, the spinach. Like, yeah, for some reason, everything tastes better in Brazil. It's just and the music. I think so. There's nowhere that the music is like Brazil music. And family and friends, of course. <laughs> that should be first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you depends on if you're a male speaking or female speaking. So if you're a male, you say obrigado with an O at the end. But if you're a female, you say with an A at the end, so obrigada. Please, por favor. So, very similar to Spanish. Mm -hmm. I think these two uh, words are pretty good. Yeah, and where is? <laughs> where is? Is on Jie. I am so excited for my trip to Brazil. Um, I have more stories that I will bring to you on Hollow Poles on how I prepare for when I go on international trips. I actually um, got to get involved with Jiu Jitsu and I got to taste a little bit of Brazilian food to kind of give me a taste and feel of how Brazil could actually be when I travel overseas and even my friend Justin gave me a small book to kind of brush up on my Portuguese and so follow me on Instagram and stay tuned on hollandpulse.com as I bring you more of my Brazil adventure.